Hi friends, it's Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and today I've got a delightful tip for you, especially if you love looking at your photos. Did you know you can turn your iPhone or iPad into a digital picture frame? That's right. It's a wonderful way to enjoy your favorite memories, whether it's grandkids, pets, vacations, or old photos you've scanned into your device. And the best part? You don't need to download any extra apps. Everything you need is already built right into your iPhone and iPad. I'll walk you through two easy methods step-by-step. Step. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need for this project. An iPhone or iPad. It can be an old one that you have laying around or the one you're using now. A charger or stand. MagSafe works great for this. A few minutes to set things up. Once you're done, your device will automatically cycle through a beautiful slideshow of your favorite memories. Perfect for your nightstand, kitchen counter, or office desk. This first method I'll show you is called Guided Access. It's an accessibility feature that works on both the iPhone and iPad. And it's especially handy if you don't want the slideshow to stop or be interrupted by accidental taps. Let's walk through how to set it up. Start by opening the Photos app. And you'll see mine is down here in the lower right corner. If you can't see yours, tap into the app library and then search for it. I can see it right here. I'm going to tap on it open, and then I am going to scroll to the very beginning of my library because I know I have photos there uh, from Nova Scotia. So I'm just going to swipe to the very beginning, and now I'm going to tap select in the upper right corner here, and you could select photos one at a time if you want to. I am just going to swipe my finger across the photos so that I can select a bunch at one time. And now that I have the photos selected, I'm going to tap on the three dots in the lower right corner. And now I'm going to choose to add to album. I'll tap the plus sign in the upper right corner, and I'll give the new album a name. So I'm just going to call it Nova Scotia. And then I'll tap Create. I'll tap Create at the top. And the album has been created. And you can name your album any, anything. Favorites, family memories. Uh, a tip that I'll give you is that you can include live photos and short videos. They'll play beautifully in the slideshow. Now we're going to make sure no one accidentally stops the slideshow. So we're going to open settings. We're going to make sure that we tap on accessibility, locate guided access, tap on that, and then turn guided access on. Now, we want to set up a passcode setting. So tap passcode setting. And here you want to choose a unique six digit passcode that's not your regular passcode. Or you can use Face ID or Touch ID if you prefer. I'm going to toggle on Face ID. And this keeps the slideshow from being interrupted. So now we're going to go back to settings. So let me tap on guided access in the upper left corner. And we're going to go to display and brightness on the left hand side of your iPad. I'll tap on that. And then I'm going to find auto lock. I'm going to tap on auto lock and I'm going to set it to never so that the screen stays on all day. Here's another tip. You can always lower the brightness to save battery or to reduce glare. 
And to do that, if I swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen, so if I come over here and swipe down into the control center, you'll see the brightness setting right here, and I can slowly drag it down to lower the brightness if I need to. Now for the fun part, let's play the slideshow. So we'll need to open the new album that we created in the Photos app. So you'll see it under Albums right here. I'm going to click on it, and now I'm going to tap on Select in the upper right corner and I'm going to choose Select All. Then I'm going to hit the circle with three dots in the bottom right-hand side and choose Play as Slideshow. Now, once I do that, the album will begin to play, and if I tap on the screen, you'll notice in the upper left corner, the sound icon, I have it muted. When you first do this, it may be turned on. If you would prefer to mute the music, go ahead, tap on the screen, and then tap on the mute icon. Now, we need to triple press on the power button to lock the slideshow into place using guided access. So I'll triple click. And you'll see that it comes into guided access. No buttons will work, so it just stays exactly how you want it. So I'm going to tap on Start in the upper right corner. And when I do, you'll see that it says Enter a Passcode. But I had selected Face ID. I'm not sure why this is happening but it's still requesting a passcode. So now I'm going to add the passcode. So I think I'll have to add it twice. So let me go ahead and, and sorry, let me tap start again. And now let me add a passcode. Cancel one more time. And I'm going to add the same passcode again. And you want this passcode to be different than the one you chose for you to enter into your iPad. Choose a different one. Make it simple. I chose one, two, three, four to get into guided access. And now your digital uh, frame has been created. As long as you're plugged into power, it's going to continue to run. If you want to get out of it, if you want to stop the digital frame, go ahead and triple click again on your power button. And when I do, well, it looks like it didn't let me do it. Let me try it again. There it is. And so the passcode area will pop up. Go ahead and put in your passcode that you created. And now it's going to take you out. Tap on end in the upper left corner. And you should be back to your regular screen. And the slideshow will continue to play. I'll just swipe out of it. And now we're back to your home screen. Now let's talk about a second method called Standby. It's a newer feature and works only on iPhones with iOS 17 or later. Standby turns your iPhone into a smart display when it's charging and placed sideways. One of the options is a full screen photo slideshow. First thing we want to do before we get this set up is be sure that standby is turned on. So I'm going to open the settings app. I'm going to tap on standby. And I'm going to make sure the toggle switch is turned on. I'm going to swipe back out to the home screen. So now you need to plug your iPhone into a charger and turn it sideways in the landscape mode. I'll show you how to do that next. So as you can see, I have my iPhone set in landscape mode, so it's sideways, and I have it plugged into a charger. To enter standby mode, I just have to power off the display, not the screen or not the iPhone, 
just the display. So I'm just going to push one time on the power button. The screen turns off and you'll see that I now have a digital clock and I'm in standby mode. Now, if I want to get to the photos option, I need to swipe to the left and you'll see photos. Unlock to view photos. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to enter my passcode, and now I'm into the Photos option. So I'm going to push one more time so you can see the options within this. If I just push, I have it set up to use my favorites. You can add an album of any kind that you want. You can tap the plus button. It'll take you into your Photos app. I choose favorites. Because if I choose favorites, it's going to show me all the photos that I've set up with the little heart icon. They'll automatically be added. And when I get into this app and I tap on done and I'm in standby mode, all of my photos periodically will change just like it would with the slideshow. To get out of standby mode, just put your iPhone back into uh, portrait mode, swipe up, and unlock the lock screen. Before we wrap up, here are a few bonus tips to really make your digital frame shine. Use the Favorites app. It's automatically created when you tap the heart icon on any photo, so it's easy to keep it updated. Try Night Shift or True Tone. These screen settings make the display easier on your eyes, especially in the evening. So if you don't know where the, that setting is, let's come in to the settings app. Be sure that you're on the main settings page. Tap on display and brightness, and you'll see that I have true tone toggled on, or you could come down here and use night shift and you can set a schedule for night shift. Another thing, another tip, rotate your albums monthly. Create different albums for holidays, birthdays, or seasons, and switch them out for a fresh look. And there you go. Whether it's a cheerful slideshow of grandkids, vacation memories, or even your garden photos, turning your iPhone or iPad into a digital picture frame is a beautiful and simple way to brighten your day. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share it with a friend who might love this idea. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.